Hello all, welcome back to Pabli Connect. So in this video, we are going to understand how to auto post YouTube shorts with tags and description using Notion, Google, Gemini and YouTube. So are you also posting YouTube shorts regularly on your channel? Then this video is definitely for you. So with here, I'm doing the same. I'm running a edutech company and we post YouTube shorts regularly on our channel to engage our audience. And we use Notion to plan and organize our video content. So what I want is that as soon as I add the title in the Notion database, which is as soon as I add the video title and the file URL, automatically with the help of same details, Google Gemini should generate the video description and the tags. And with the help of same tags, description and the video URL, automatically a video should be posted on my YouTube channel. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between Notion, Google Gemini and YouTube. To create this connection without knowing any programming or coding language, we are going to use Pabli Connect. It is an amazing automation software. So I'm going to create this connection because I want to maintain the consistency of my channel. So do you also wish to learn this process step by step? Now let me take you to my computer screen. Welcome to my screen. So as you know, in this video, we are going to understand how to auto post YouTube shorts with tags and description using Notion, Google, Gemini and YouTube. So as you know that I run an edutech company and we regularly upload YouTube shorts to engage our audience. And we are using Notion to plan and organize our video content. So I'll just show you my Notion database. Over here you can see that this is my Notion database. And over here I want that as soon as I upload the title and the file URL with the date, automatically my YouTube video description and the tag should be generated with the help of Google Gemini and that YouTube video should be posted on my YouTube channel. So to do this, we are going to create a connection between these application and I'm going to do this because this automation helps us save time, maintain consistency and focus on creating high quality content. So yes, to do all of this, I've simply opened the landing page of Pabli simply by searching pabli.com slash connect in my browser. It is very easy. So as soon as we are going to open the landing page of Pabli, we are going to get two options. One is sign in and the another one is sign up for free. So if you're a new user, you can click on sign up for free and you are going to get 100 of tasks free every month. But I'm an existing user, so I'm going to click on sign in right over here. And now it is opening all Pabli apps. Over here, you can see all the tools and applications offered by Pabli. But in today's video, we are going to use Pabli Connect because we are connecting different applications. So I'm going to click on access now right over here to access my Pabli Connects account. And now it is opening my dashboard. And to start with the automation, we are going to click on this button which says create work flow and now it is asking me the workflow name and the folder I want to save the workflow in. So I want to save the workflow in this folder which is automations and I want to name my workflow as this. How to auto post YouTube shorts with tags and description, Notion, Gemini and YouTube. And then we are going to click on create and as you can see that now it is opening the most important window of our automation that is our workflow window. This is the most important window because we have triggered an action in this. Trigger means when this happens an action means do this. So by by this you can understand that the triggers the commander for the workflow and actions follow the commands and as you know that we can have only a single commander but multiple followers so where we can have only a single trigger but multiple actions following the commands of our trigger so by this you can understand that simply trigger commands the workflow and action are the response towards that command so now we are going to select our trigger application so we are going to select the trigger application as notion because i want that as soon as i upload the video details in my notion database automatically my workflow should be triggered and now for the trigger event, we are going to select it as new database item. And then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see that now it is asking me to add a new connection or select the existing connection. So if you have already connected your Notion account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection and then connect with Notion. And as you can see that now it is asking me for some permission. So I'm going to click on select pages and select the pages I want to give the permission mission for. So I'm going to select my pages which is YouTube video. So I'm going to look for it and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and then we are going to click on allow access. So as soon as we are going to click on allow access you can see that we have successfully connected our Notion account with our Pabli's workflow. You can give Pabli all the permissions it is asking for because your data is secure with Pabli. And now you can see database ID YouTube video. So as you can see that this is the same database I'm going to create this automation for. So now we are going to click on save and send test request 
request. But before clicking on Save and Send Test Request, I'll just let you know that Notion is a pooling based application. So pooling based application means that these application will check for new data in certain amount of time. These applications will not check for new data instantly. And over here in the case of Notion, it is saying this trigger will check for new data in 8 hours. So Notion will check for new data in every 8 hours. So now as soon as we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request, Pabli will capture the last response or the latest response submitted in our Notion database. So I'm just going to show you my database and over here you can see that this is my database. I have added the date right over here. You can also see that we have added the title which is automation that you need. And over here I've also added the file URL. So I got this file URL from my Dropbox account. So I've created an another workflow in the backend where what is happening is that as soon as I add the file in my Dropbox account, which is as soon as I upload the new YouTube video made or new video short made in my Dropbox, automatically that workflow should be triggered. And also the details like title and file URL and with the date should be added right over here in my Notion. So I've created that workflow in the backend. That's why I'm getting this file URL right from here. You can enter it manually too. So you have to keep in mind that you have to add a shareable file URL right over here like I have added. You can either get it from your Dropbox account or you can use any another application to get the file URL. And now as you can see that I've entered all the details right over here and this was the last submission. So now as soon as I'm going to click on save and send test request, Pabli will capture the response of this submission only. So as soon as I'm going to click on save and send test request, so I'm going to click on right over here. And yes, you can see that Pabli has captured the response of the last submission. Over here you can see all all the details over here you can see the title that we entered we are going to scroll so i'm going to look for the url and as you can see over here is the url also that we entered so yes with this we have successfully completed our trigger step but before moving on to our action step i'll just let you know that i got this url from my dropbox account i'll just show you my dropbox account too and as you can see that this is my dropbox account and over here i've created a folder youtube videos and over here you can see also the short that i want to upload is added over here so i've created this workflow which will copy this short link and the title and over here it will add it in my notion database so yes as soon as we are going to do this we are going to get the response of the notion right over here in our trigger so yes after doing this we are going to move on to our action step but before moving there i'll just let you know that it is saying this trigger will check for new data in eight hours but if you wish to reduce or increase this time we can go on this three dots and then set trigger time and over here you can see that we can set the trigger time minimum as 90 minutes and maximum as 24 hours. So I'm going to keep it as 12 hours right over here because I want to upload every new short in 12 hours and I want to check for new data in every 12 hours. So I'm going to enter it and we are going to click on save. And yes, you can see that we have successfully did this and now we are going to move on to our action step. So for our action application, we are going to select right over here, which is Google Gemini. So I'm going to search for Google Generative AI because I want to generate the description and the tags. So I'm going to search for Google Generative AI and over here you can see the same. So we are going to select it and now for the action event, we are going to select it as generate content and then we are going to click on connect. And as you can see, again, it is asking me for the same. So if you have already connected your Google Generative AI account with your Pabli's workflow, you can click on select existing connection and then save. But if you haven't, you have to follow me, click on add a new connection. And now it is asking me for the API key. So to get this API key, we are going to follow the help text. And it is saying to obtain the API key, log into your Google AI studio and go to the API key section. Click on the create API key, select the project or create an API key for a new project. Copy and paste the API key over here. So I'm going to follow this hyperlink which will take me to my Google AI studio. So I'm going to follow it. And yes, you can see that we have successfully opened our Google AI studio. And now from the left side bar, you can see get API key. So we are going to go on this. And as you can see that I've created many API keys already, but I'm going to create a new. So I'm going to click on create API key. And now it is asking me for the project. So I'm going to select the project as Pabli testing. So I'm going to select it right over here. And then we are going to click on create API key in existing project. And as soon as we are going to click on this, you can see that we have successfully created the API key. So I'm going to copy this key and then we are going to paste it right over here in our workflow in under the API key section and then we are going to click on save and as soon as we are going to click on save you can see that we have successfully connected our Google Generative AI account with our Pabli's workflow and now it is asking me for the text so basically it is asking me for the prompt right over here so I'm going to enter it as 
this generate description for my youtube short on the title do not include any emojis or special characters write in three paragraphs and over here you can see that i've left the space in front of title because we are going to map this so mapping is a method by pabli which means inserting the data from the previous step and as you know our previous step was the trigger step where we selected notion as our trigger application so we are going to map the details from the response of our trigger application only and as soon as we are going to map these details automatically my details will turn dynamic and change with every new database item updated in my notion account so i'm going to give you an example that over here in front of title if i'm going to enter title suppose xyz right over here manually then this will not change with every new database item updated because this is a static information and i've entered it manually but if i'm going to map it from the previous response suppose i'm going to map the title right over here so if i'm going to map it from the previous response then this will definitely change because my previous response will also change so that's why we do mapping right over here to run our workflow in real time and now i've mapped the title in the prompt because i want that with every new database item new prompt should be generated for new title so that's why we have mapped the title right over here and now it has become generate description for my youtube short on the title this so this is the title and now it is asking me for the models so i'm going to select it as gemini pro and then it is asking me for the method so i'm going to select it as generate content only and now we are going to click on save and send test request and yes you can see that we have received the response over here you can see the description generated so yes with this we have successfully generated this description on our short with this our this action step is successful and now you're going to add another action step so again i'm going to add another action step of google generative ai because i want to add the tags also in my youtube short so for that i'm going to search for google generative ai and as you can see the same so we are going to select it right over here which is google generative ai and then for the action event we are going to again select generate content again we are going to click on connect and as you can see it is asking me for the same so as you know that i've recently connected my google generative ai account so i'm going to click on select existing connection and then save and as soon as we are going to do this you can see that we have successfully connected our google generative ai account and now it is asking me for the text so we have we are going to enter the prompt to generate the tag so i want the prompt to be generate tags for my youtube short with comma on the title again we are going to map the title right over here to make it dynamic and yes you can see that we have successfully entered the prompt again and now we are going to select the model as gemini pro and then for the method we are going to select it as generate content only and then again we are going to click on save and send us request to get the tags and yes you can see that we have received the new tags right over here you can see automations for your life simplify life life hacks so these are the tags that google generative ai has generated with the commas which we asked for so yes with this are this action step is also successful and now we are going to upload the this description and this tag with the youtube video in our youtube channel so i'm going to add another action step right over here and now for the action application we are going to select it as youtube so i'm going to search for youtube right over here and as you can see the same so we are going to select it and now for the action event we are going to select it as upload video over here you can see upload video beta so i'm going to select it and then we are going to click on connect and again it is asking me for the same so if you have already connected your youtube account with your pabli's workflow you can click on select existing connection and then save but if you haven't you have to follow me click on add a new connection and then connect with youtube and now as you can see that after selecting my gmail account it is asking me for some permissions so i'm going to click on continue and give pabli all the permissions it is asking for because my data is secure with pabli you can also click on continue pabli save and as soon as we are going to click on continue you can see that we have successfully connected our youtube account with our pabli's workflow over here you can see connected and now it is asking me for the channel id so it is automatically selecting that and now we're going to move on forward it is asking me for the video title video description and the video url with the tags so i'm going to enter all of this right over here so for the video title we are going to map it from the notion so i'm going to scroll and look for the video title and over here you can see automation that you need so we are going to map it we are going to map the video description from google generative ai right over here you can see the results so we are going to map the description and then it is asking me for the video url so we are going to map it from the notion again over here you can see the video url so we are going to map it and now after mapping this we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the tags and also you can see that in the help text it is saying enter multiple comma separated tags value so here we have to enter the comma separated tags value and yes we have that over here you can see in the google generative ai we have got the result of multiple tags with comma separated values and yes you can see that we have successfully added the tags also and now it is asking me for the category id and over here in the help text you can see that it is saying enter the video category id to be a 
assigned to your video the category id can be get by using list video categories so we have to get the category id so to get this we are going to add another action step right over here between our google generative ai and our youtube so i'm going to add this and now for the action application again we are going to select youtube right over here so i'm going to select it quickly and then for the action event we are going to select it as list categories so i'm going to select it and click on connect and as you can see that i've recently connected my youtube account so i'm going to click on select existing connection and then save right over here and as you can see that it is asking me for the country code so over here i'm in india so i'm going to enter the same country code and then we are going to click on save and send test request and yes, you can see that over here are all the category IDs. Over here, you can see for autos and vehicles. Over here, you can see the for the music, the category ID is 10. So we are going to look for the category ID of education. So I'm going to scroll right over here. And then we are going to look for education. And as you can see for the education, the category ID is 27. So I'm going to copy this right from here. And then we are going to add it right over here in our next action step in the category ID section. So we are going to enter it manually because this is a static information. And after entering the category ID, we can delete this YouTube list video categories right from here because it is going to consume the task. And, and we don't need this right over here because we haven't mapped it. We just got the category ID from that. So I'm going to delete it. And yes, we are going to move on forward. You can see that I've entered the category ID which is 27 and now we are going to move on forward it is asking me for the video visibility status so I'm going to keep it as public because I want to post this video and now it is asking me for the notify subscribers so I'm going to keep it as yes and now it is asking me for allow embedding so I'm going to keep it as true it is asking me for the audience so I'm going to keep it as no it's not made for kids and then it is saying self declared made for kids so we are going to click on false only and then we are going to move on forward and now we are going to click on save and send test request also here in the important notes you can see that it is saying by pressing save and send test request you can clarify that the content you are uploading complies with the youtube terms and services so you have to keep all of these details in your mind and now we are going to click on save and send test request right over here as soon as we are going to click on this you can see that we have received the positive response which says response result initiated so this means that we have successfully did this and yes we have successfully initiated the request to upload the youtube video with the same description tags and the title so now i'm going to open my youtube and check for the video over there so i'm going to open my youtube right over here and as you can see that this is my youtube and over here is my channel content so from here we are going to go on shorts because i uploaded a short and yes you can see automation that you need so i'm going to open it the details and over here we are going to look for the description and yes you can see that this is the same description that we entered we are also going to look for tags right over here i'm going to scroll and then we are going to go on show more and as you can see the tags that we uploaded so yes with this we have successfully completed our automation i'm also going to show you the youtube video and yes you can see that this is my youtube video that i uploaded right over here and this was the same file we uploaded in our dropbox so yes with this we have successfully completed our automation so i'll just summarize the workflow for you once for the trigger application we selected notion for the trigger event we selected new database item and over here you can see that i added the details like title and the file url in my notion database with the help of an another workflow if you wish you can definitely add this manually too you can get the file url from your dropbox account and now again for the action application we selected google generative ai and then for the action event we selected generate content we did this to generate the description again for the action application we selected google generative ai and then for the action event we selected generate content to generate the tags and then we selected our action application as youtube again and then for the action event we selected upload video and over here we selected the channel id you can see that we map the video title video description and the video url and then we map the tags to over here you can see the video description and the tags generated from Google Generative AI. We entered the category ID over here. We selected the details and then we clicked on save and send test request. And yes, we were successful with our workflow. I'll also show you the video that I uploaded right over here in my YouTube. So yes, you can see that this is the video that I uploaded over here. You can see the same description and the same tags too. So yes, with this, we have successfully completed this workflow. And now I don't have to upload the YouTube shorts manually by adding video description and tags again and again automatically as soon as I'm 
link to add the video title and file url right over here in my notion automatically my workflow would be triggered with the help of google generative ai we are going to generate the video description and tags and video will be uploaded on my youtube account so this automation will help us save a lot of amount of time and maintain the consistency and then we can focus more on creating high quality content so yes this for all for the video so if you have any questions related to the video or the workflow you can directly comment on this video and for your reference i'll just clone this workflow and share the workflow link in the description box so that you can access my workflow i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching not only these applications but with the help of pabli you can integrate many more applications so now if you have any doubts you can reach us at support at the read pabli.com if you have any queries you can reach us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issues you can follow this website and if you find our videos helpful do like and subscribe our channel thank you for watching